I'm just gonna do a little clapping because I want to clap so uh, much. Camner, <laughs> I crack her up all the time. She's new. Hey, uh, our new uh, sports anchor for the weekends, a weekend sports anchor and reporter. Cam, welcome. Uh, I know you got to be super excited. A long, long way from Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, tell everyone where you're from, uh, where you uh, previously worked, and uh, how excited you are to be here. Well, yeah, I am definitely excited <laughs> to be here. And, um, and in a warmer climate, it is really hot, but I'll get yeah, used to that. Yeah. It's better than the cold, I can tell you that. Um, I am originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, so a southern girl at heart. But for the last two years, I've been in Duluth, Minnesota, where it's absolutely freezing cold <laughs> outside. Um, and I got to live through the snowiest winter on record in Duluth. Um, so I can say that I, I survived, um, but now I make my way here to Huntsville, Alabama, and I couldn't be more excited. Literally complete opposite ends of the weather spectrum. You got all this snow, and now it's like 6,000 degrees here in, in North Alabama, uh, but welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously you have a sports background. Tell everyone, uh, you know, you're a collegiate uh, athlete. Uh, walk everyone through just uh, what you played and obviously just your affinity and love for sports. Yeah, well, I played softball my entire life and then I was recruited um, to play softball at Emory and Henry College in the state of Virginia. Um, and it was an incredible experience yeah. for me. Um, four years, I was a, a pitcher there and we got to go to NCAA regional tournaments and um, I was part of the winningest team in program history. So that was really awesome. Um, but I wouldn't, I would never trade that experience for the world because it gave me the opportunity to um, be relatable in now, now that I, we're, I'm in this industry and I can talk to these athletes, I know what they're going through and these awesome postseason runs that they're going through or even the adversities that they face is with injuries and, and stuff like that. And so that's what really uh, spoke to me about this industry was I wanted to tell the stories of those athletes, good or bad. Super cool, the fact that she mentioned stories. And I know we discussed this during the process of, of you joining us here in North Alabama and the Tennessee Valley. Uh, that's kind of the essence of our area. We love stories, we love storytelling. So many amazing athletes, teams, programs, coaching staffs across the board. Uh, how excited are you to kind of maybe just uh, come into a new area, but more importantly, be able to tell so many amazing stories that are literally just untapped uh, throughout the year. Yeah, that is what I'm, I'm really excited about. I love kind of deep diving into things. And, and I think me being new gives me an even more uh, of an outlook on um, or, or a different perspective mm -hmm. on the area and the stories that are, you know, untold yeah. so far. Fun time. Really a lot of fun. We're just qu hard hitting questions yours truly uh, will ask. Uh, we're going to just go through a couple of things. Favorite food. Favorite food. We're foodies. Oh like we both yeah. we love we love to eat. So yeah, I would say throw some hot sauce on it, make it spicy. I'll eat anything. <laughs> anything. I'm with it. I'm with it. I like seasonings and spices. I just don't want them like you can smell them like before they get to your plate or they're in the package. It like to to like extreme wing sauces and stuff. I'm not doing any of that. I want a good balance. You want the hotter the better. Yeah, I want no, my nose to be running. Absolutely be not. <laughs> no. No, ma'am. Okay. Um, favorite childhood sports teams uh, growing up? Oh, my gosh. Um, I guess it's not that much of a childhood sports team for me. It's, I guess it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. But that 2015 Carolina Panthers team, yeah. got to love it. Got to love it. Undefeated into the Super Bowl. Yep. We won't talk about how that ended, <laughs> but still a great season. I think people uh, with a uh, uh, affinity for Auburn Tiger football would definitely uh, love that uh, with Cam Newton on that team en route to a, an MVP and a Super Bowl uh, appearance. Uh, favorite color? Pink. I'm not wearing it today, oddly enough, but I will wear it quite often, 100%. Um, I like it. I like it. Favorite movie? Okay, I might get clowned for this just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we won't do that. Um, it is Secretariat. Wow. Yeah, it's honestly, okay. and I maybe I'm biased because it is my favorite movie. One of the best all-time um, sports stories, I think. And we'll go back to the sports stories telling part, but an amazing story. Watch. The last one I'm going to leave uh, all of our viewers and, and more importantly for you with, how excited are you for your first SEC football game uh, at Jordan Hare Stadium uh, and or Brian Denny Stadium this year? I couldn't be more excited. I don't know if I even have the words or even can fathom what is really about to go down when I go there yeah, yeah. Um, or what the atmosphere is is like there. But uh, yeah, I couldn't be more excited. I, I love football and I love the environment that football has. So 
being in the place of football, yeah, it's unmatched. Unmatched for sure. It's unlike anything uh, anyone can, uh, can ever imagine. Cam will join you on Saturday and Sunday of this week. Make sure you tune in uh, right here on WAFF 48.